Thanks. I'll ask a question. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rob, the film deals with some issues facing society like inequality and racism. Can you tell us a little bit about your experiences with uh, such issues? Yeah, um, there's been a lot of experiences growing up with um, inequality and racism in my life. Um, probably being an Indigenous person. Um, usually um, when you're walking through uh, shopping centres um, and things like that. Um, but there's also um, just the looks that people give you. Um, but I like to um, talk about uh, racism and inequality in general. Uh, I think it happens a lot when um, people in positions of authority or power um, try, try and manipulate um, other people, um, not forgetting that um, they were once uh, those type of people. Um, with um, racism and that, um, doing uh, little projects and people just doing little bit by little bit to help out, um, even if it's just a one, one little percent I think is will help. Um, I don't know, kind of close a, close a gap on it. I don't. I don't think racism will never end. It's just something that we're just going to have to learn how to combat. Um, I combated it by doing. I've been on uh, TV stations and that talking about racism to raise awareness about it, um, about about equality. Um, in this m movie, when we're talking about the inequality uh, or the workers, I think that's one of the biggest ones because you know. Um, Sometimes working in uh, factory areas and, and labouring jobs, you do have people that are inexperienced and, and too scared to talk to the big supervisors. So, so you need a union rep that will be able to do all that and stand up to stand up to the supervisors and get things done. Um, I think that's a big important uh, message as well, just to, to not sit back and be quiet about anything, equality or um, racism, to, to actually um, band together and, and, and raise a voice about it um, and pretty much just try and quiet down them, them people that are doing wrong. <laughs> yeah. I think that's all I have. <laughs> cool.